This is the Transformers Unite Warriors Deluxe Class Brawl. The figure is part of the Bruticus Unite Warriors set by Takara Tomy. Uh, and we essentially get sort of a new mold uh, for the Combiner Wars. And quite frankly, uh, this figure is probably the weakest out of all the five figures. And I love it that we get a new mold, but there's just a lot about this figure that is a little bit disappointing or uh, disappointing for me. Uh, I, I had high hopes for Brawl, um, but he's not completely bad. I mean, he's not a crappy figure, but he's just not a great figure. Um, okay, let's get to it. So we get a new mold. Of brawl, uh, there's a little bit of they used, they recycled some bits and pieces here and there. I'm sure the engineering at least, but the almost everything is new with this mold, and they're going to recycle this with nose cone and for Leo Kaiser the uh, one of the limbs, so that's great. He looks G1, but my thing about it, um, there's so much G1 about it. The sculpt, the color, I love the colors. If there's anything going on going for this figure, it's the colors. The I like it better than the Hasbro version, the beige type of brown. Uh, no, it's it's more greenish brown, actually. It, on the camera, it's a little bit too green, but it's actually... There's that beige and... Not beige, but uh, sienna and brown mixed with the army green. It gives it like an olive, dark olive color. So I love that. I love the, the grays that they put on him, the black, the orange, even the orange, I'm, I'm very pleased with. But the silhouette... The arms are just I'm just not I'm just not digging the arms the I wish there was a way to bring it down and out like lower it and then out and that would have made a perfect silhouette if the joints were a little bit here but as it is I think it's too high and makes him too short the arms make it too they make the arms too short the other thing is is this one um, I've, I've seen reviews of the Hasbro version and I thought it, it, the Takara version might be tighter but it, it this loose waist joint kind of ruins the playability for this figure. It, it, will, it will flop about here and there. He does have fantastic articulation though. Ball jointed elbows, ball hinge shoulders, the leg articulation, full leg articulation with the, even with this one, the rocker joints uh, for, the, for the legs. He even has a waist swivel. I mean, can you believe that? A crappy waist, but with a swivel. So Hasbro trying to make up for this, but this one for playability is it's just it's just not doing it. And uh, there's a there's a big gap right there, which you can try and fill out with this one. But if you do it this way, this is this would be great if you could like lock it in this way. But it, it just it's not locking in. You have to do it this way. And there is a way. Yeah, it'll stay on like that. Then it'll have a. I suppose it's okay. You could you could do it this way and yeah but you can see the frustration with this joint and I wish they had made it a, a, a stir a sturdier type of locking mechanism instead of just very very thin friction piece so yeah anyway he doesn't come with a weapon which is weird again another one I thought they would give him a small gun but I looked at the box and and the illustrations at the back there's no weapon unless it's Unless it's this one. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I don't have the Hasbro version, okay? So I, I, I wouldn't know. Oh, there we go. Now he has a gun. Okay, more brownie points for this guy. And this one can stick right here. Even in tank mode, it'll look great. So he's, again, as I mentioned in my Vortex review, the foot fist accessory comes in the same color as the... The, the one the, the figure it belongs to so that's really nice put that like that okay we'll put that away this is nice uh, so we can put it back right here and it, it will swivel as a gun turret okay all right I'm gonna going to turn him into a limb you'll see him as a limb when we do the combined mode of Bruticus review so let's transform him to the arms like that. Like that. See, in, in alt mode, it's secure. The waist is secure, but 
in robot mode they just i think they missed out on that could have done better engineering i, I don't know how they were going to do it because they needed to compress it but i wish there was a sturdier friction joint for that this one seems to be tight that's great it is a new mold okay there we go arms in arms will just collapse in like that okay and just tab everything and again you can see how fantastic the colors are of this tank is it an abrams i don't know any tank nerds out there without the, this without the piece it looks like that so really nice and again, you can put it that way, or you put it like this. And it looks great. Alt mode is, is just fantastic. You can't swivel it, which, no, yeah, no, that's a limitation it has. But it looks great. If I didn't combine these guys, I'd display him in tank all day. I forgot to put him in, but so there you go, folks. Um, it, it's a nice concept. I, I love all the, the, the ideas they had for this one, but for robot mode, it, it's a little bit ruined by some of the engineering. And yeah, um, the figure is going to get an 8 out of 10 for me still because the paint apps, the alt mode saved it. All right, Transformers Unite Warriors Deluxe Class Brawl. Thanks for watching.